sitting in a chair, legs kind of stretched. I've got a, an arm sticking up into this thing. There's that flipping grinder noise in the back that's like chipping away at my head. Papa Ningzi hood. Hello everybody, good day to you, welcome back. Some of you will remember this particular Mercedes. This is a 2006 CLS 500. And uh, it was here and it was featured in a previous video because this suspension strut was blown up, leaking fluid, and that one over there was air dumping when we lifted it. Now we originally replaced uh, just this one strut on this side. They're rather expensive units because it has uh, auto ride control. Anyway, when we replaced this strut on this side over here, we found that there was a huge ride height discrepancy, meaning this side over here was sitting higher up than this side over here, which was sitting lower down, causing the car to have a lean. I had speculated that there was also some type of leak uh, in this strut over here, and uh, the, uh, the comment section went wild saying I had to do some reset procedures and this, that, and the other. Well, this morning, I went ahead and tossed in the replacement strut on the right-hand side. We have our highly sophisticated measuring device present and we're just going to go ahead and see what the ride height is. Now this video is not about ride height or anything like that, but we can see right here we're at about 27 and well, we'll call that 3 sixteenths of an inch. Well, let's call it 27 and a quarter. Bottom of the wheel well. I'm sorry, 27 and 1 8. See that right there, the 1 8. Now this one. We are at 26 and 7 eighths. We've got one quarter of an inch ride height discrepancy after replacing the right front strut. Earlier, we were about an inch and a half, if memory serves. Let's just check these rears and see if there's a discrepancy there. 26 and three quarter. And this one right here, that one's 27. So that's a quarter inch ride height discrepancy as well. Uh, I find that to be within spec. Anyway. So now that we've put that to bed, we can move on with the additional repairs in this car. If you guys remember from the uh, original video, the first one, we found out that both of these front windows do not roll down. They make a bunch of uh, crackling and grinding noises while being operated. And it appears that the regulator's inside. Yeah. The regulators are broken and they're bound up. So now that we've finished up the suspension stuff, we have uh, no more warning indicators. The ride height does what it's supposed to do. We're gonna go ahead, pull these door panels off and change these regulating units out. That way the front windows will both go up and down when commanded. So stay tuned because this is gonna be a very good video. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to miss the part one, the introduction of this car and the part two, the repair on the left front strut, just go down to this video's description and you'll find links below and they will take you back in time to the previous editions of this Mercedes CLS 500. There, now that all that stuff's out of the way, let's back this thing up some so I can sling the doors open and uh, we'll go ahead and get started on uh, those window regulators. Okie dokes, we're hanging out here on the rolly chair. We've got the, uh, the door slung open here and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get this panel removed. Okay, so quick disclaimer, I have a, I've never done this job on this Mercedes before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But, uh, well, you guys don't know what I'm doing either, so looks like we're all in this together, aren't we? Uh, I found a couple screws, so I'm just gonna take those out. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna operate, so maybe I don't have to do this, maybe I do. Uh, that looks like a kind of fancy, so yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna remove what I can remove and we'll see how this works out. Sound like a plan? I think it does. Got another screw or something down here. Let's pull this guy out. Get this thing out of here. I'm not gonna pull those out because those are what's securing the latch mechanism to the door. So we don't need to remove those. Um, maybe there's a hidden screw back here. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm stuck. Nope. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what else is involved in this guy. Oh, here we go. I got something. We got to pull the, uh, the lock device off of there. That's got to go. We just unthread that. Kind of old school, isn't it? All right. So I'm trying to, you know, figure out how this thing comes off. I'm, I know there's clips that hold it, but I'm sure that there's some screws somewhere. Oh, here we go. We're getting somewhere. That's popping apart. 
speaker cover. Well here, there's there's some goodies in here. There's no reason to leave that sitting around. Let's pull those out. We'll put these on top of the speaker cover. Because I'm gonna find those screws. I, I know they're here. They've gotta be here. See, the goal is to not break the car. That's the, that's the goal here. Yeah, maybe we'll just go with what we know. So, uh, let's see what we can see inside of the panel. Maybe there's clips in here or a combination of clips and screws. I'm sure there's something I can, I can get an eyeball on to look at. Okay, yeah, I've got a clip here. There's, there's a clip. So let's, uh, let's start popping clips and then we'll see where it gets hung up later. There's one. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be a, some kind of a fastener near the uh, the hand guard or the handle, because these clips are not uh, stout enough to hang onto the panel and the handle all by themselves. Let's give it some more tugs here. All right, it's starting to separate from the door. Something, There's something in here holding this together. See, I'm thinking that it's this guy right here, but if I try to get behind that to, to pry it away, it's, uh, it's, it's in there pretty good. I can't, I can't pull it out from the bottom. Now there is this panel right here. That's, that one's kind of loose. That one moves. Maybe, maybe that panel comes off. Hmm. It has to, I know it's loose. Can't just get behind it. There we go. Either that or I just broke it. No, it's not broken. Now I'm seeing why this uh, takes a long time to do. Okay. Yeah, not broken. That just clips in. And then, Maybe this is what we need to do. Yeah, there's still no screws here. See you that? Know? How does that guy, it came off on this side. It's got a little tab here and another tab here. But that one, that one doesn't want to move. Hmm, pry bar? Yeah. Maybe that's it. Yep, there we go. Now we're in business because I have located the screws, see those right there? That's what we needed, those two screws. Okay, what do we got here? Some Torx bits, yeah? Pull these guys out. There's one. There's always something that holds the handle area to the door. Always. If you don't find it, you're gonna break it. Guys will get a hold of these panels and just wrench on them until they, they're about to bust off. And then they do, they break off right at those bolts and you're SOL, aren't you? Okay, oh yeah, it's, it's coming loose now. Let's back up some. Yeah, it's getting a little weeby wobbly. Probably another clip over here on the front side. This thing right here is kind of hanging up the show. See that? See how this thing comes off. It should just clip. All right, that's disconnected. Let's pull the little wire. Wow, this, this is complicated, look at that. Speaker insulation. Oh, what else we got here? There's one little clip. How do I release you? Ah, Das Auto, you're killing me, Mercedes. I'm not qualified to do this. Here, I'm take the whole speaker out, there. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave that little guy dangling there. If it's a, a problem later, then I'll, I'll deal with it later. There's another panel, piece of plastic. Yeah, found two more, uh, or one more. There's one more screw right there. It's got hidden fasteners everywhere. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Patience. This is all about patience with this kind of stuff. All right. Well, hang on, we're getting stuck now. Here's some wires hanging out right here. 
a whole pack of them. Let's get these guys disconnected. I learned about these connectors from that, uh, that air strut that we put in. Remember the little tab? Push the little tab and it slides off. That's good. And then we've got, looks like the cable for the door latch. Let's see about getting that guy loose. Can you guys see? Yeah, there's the cable right there. Let's pull it back and out of its little, uh, little mount. We'll unhook it. There we go. And now we're just left with, na 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 na, I don't know. Hang on here. Wow, that's fancy. Okay, we've got all these connectors here and then this, these ribbons. Uh, that's definitely fancy. And I don't think that they unplug from this little bracket thing right here, so they must disconnect here. Let's not forget this uh, blue, white, black. How do we get these out? Yeah, blue, white, and black. You guys remember that, so I don't have to, please. This big one's self-explanatory. And these ribbons, these scare me. How do I get these guys out? Oh, so much risk with the, the exotic vehicles. I think there's a tab right there. Okay, the panel is now disconnected from the door. We're getting somewhere. I don't really know what we're getting at, but we're getting there. I think I have to remove uh, this little control module here. I don't know how to do that either. Na, 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 na. Let's see. Well, let's unplug more stuff. Oh, it's a white one that's self-explanatory. You can't go anywhere else. This one is self-explanatory. That can't go anywhere else. Wow. A lot going on for a door. I think I have to disconnect all these as well. Hmm. Okay. It appears these things just clip in somehow to the door, but... Oh, heck, I don't know. Pry bar? <laughs> we'll just pry bar it. Not really, I'm just putting some pressure on it. So I can depress what appears to be these little clips. There we go, look at that. See that one? That one came right on out. It's a lot of engineering just to hold a piece of plastic in, wouldn't you say? Okay, next we need to remove this uh, insulator business right here. And it's glued in with that sticky goop. Yeah, look at this stuff right here. We need to peel that back and separate this uh, insulation from the door without tearing the insulation. That's, uh, that's our next challenge here on the list of challenges, of Mercedes challenges. Yeah, I'm starting to tear it right there. Oops. Yeah, that's a challenge failed if I tear a hole in this. I mean, it's probably inevitable, but I can at least try to avoid it. Wow. This is one uh, secure window regulator that you really don't want me in here. There we go. Now we're into it. Woohoo. Okay, it's coming off now. We're in business. That's good. Uh, I can see a regulator in there. We're, we're getting somewhere. Fold this thing back because I, I think I've got enough here to, to get into that. I think. Huh? Yeah, we'll fold this and stick that aside. Okay, this is gonna be in the way later, so this whole thing is coming off. I, uh, I just gotta remember to, how to put it back together, I suppose. But yeah, all this has to come off here. 
I don't have, I don't, I can't be messing with uh, this while this thing's flippy flopping in my face. So we're just gonna take that away and, and put that aside for now. Okay, now we can get to our, our regulator here. So we've got our motor, that's gonna stay. The regulator is the rail right here and it looks like this rail right here and that's what attaches to the window. And, ah, look at that. There's the cable. It's kind of sharp. So the thing's definitely broken. It's the original unit, it says Mercedes on it. Um, I hope I can get this out without drilling out these rivets. I don't really like to drill door rivets. Maybe, I, maybe I'll be okay, maybe not. Time will tell. Okay, so this wiring harness here. Yeah, that's zip tied onto the motor. What is it, darling? No, that's daddy's chair, I need it. Okay, so, since we've already established that I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm not really sure how this thing comes out, I've gone ahead and pulled the replacement unit out of the box, and it looks like it bolts on in four places. One right here, right here at the bottom of the door, that's what it appears, and this one at the bottom on that side, and then this one, this is the one that confuses me, because this little bolt is pointed that way, and this thing is located right about here. So I'm not certain how I'm supposed to get to this nut, which is up here, unless I'm, I kind of reach up, which I don't know if I can do that, because it seems to have the, uh, well, the door latch assembly is in the way. So uh, maybe I have to go in through here with an extension and, and reach it, I don't know yet. Uh, regardless, what I do know is I need to remove the motor from here. Let's take that guy off next and we'll set that aside. And then I'm going to need to pull off it. It appears that there's like some plugs or a... Let's go down there and look actually, what is this? Okay, yeah, yeah, there's a little, there's a plug here and one here and that's gonna give me access to these bottom bolts. So let's get what we know. We got one, two, and three. Four, five, six. Let's take all this stuff apart and then we'll work on this goofy little sideways bolt up here later. Here, let's get this motor disconnected. We don't need this plugged in for now. Get rid of that. And we'll pull these screws out because the motor gets reused. So we'll set this guy aside. Peeling back the onion. If you don't know what to do, just take off everything. We'll figure it out. I've got my hand on the glass just in case this thing wants to let go. And I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. That's pretty nasty in there. Look at that. Yeah, that's bound up pretty bad. That's the cable that runs the motor up and down. Yeah, das ist nicht gut. Okay. All right, let's get the two bolts down here at the bottom of the door panel. Here, let me scooch down here and we'll We'll feel for those little plugs. There's one of them. The other one should be, yeah, it's right over here. Get that guy out. And those should be a 10 because the one up top right here, that's a 10. Sure, I'm thinking these down here are also 10. I think so. Uh, yep. There's one and the other one Okay, so that's the two bottom sections and then our top section. Let's get that guy out of there. Hmm. Can't reach. There. All right, the glass is starting to slide. There's so much binding in this cable, it's, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, you know, I think I am gonna have to drill these rivets out, but we'll wait for that. We'll wait a minute. I need to get to the one more bolt up here on top of this guy, which, uh, I don't know. Hmm, I can't even see it. All right, I, I figured it out. Take a look at this. So we've got this little access hole thing right here. And if I move that flap aside and look way, way back in that hole, I can see the nut at the top of, uh, of the regulator. So what I'll do 
to stick a uh, socket on this extension and run that in until it meets the nut right about there. Maybe, yeah, right about there, and then I can unscrew that nut. That should get this thing broken loose and I can try to wiggle it out. Now, I have just figured out I need to detach the glass from the regulator itself, and it appears that there's a bolt for that right there, and that means that the other one that meets it is probably behind here. That's what I think. Well, that seems logical, so let's get, uh, Let's get through that little piece of paper. Or whatever that is. And uh, looks like we got a fastener there. All right, we're getting somewhere now. And I believe that's attached to the slider on the regulator. Yep. I hope you guys can see, it's pretty dark in there. Okay, Torx bit is on. The glass is halfway separated from the regulator. Let me get that. Uh, there's my fastener. Looks like more parts just fell out. And we'll get the left side and then the glass should be free. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull this glass out as soon as it's unbolted and set it aside. That way it's nice and safe. Let's see, where's that, that fastener? I see you. It's way back there. My hand is on the glass, so that's a, that's a, yeah, it's in there somewhere. Is this gonna come out or is that no good? I need to pull this trim off up here. It's a piece of window trim that's hanging on to, uh, well, getting caught up on the glass. Let's try to get that off. Man, this is a lot of work. Come out of there. I probably should have done this first, but we've already established that I don't know what I'm doing, so it is what it is. All right. Cool beans, glass is out. Hopefully, there it is. Got it. We'll set this aside so we don't break it. No, this is nice. Now I can see. Uh, fastener that I was looking for. See right there? So what we can do, we're gonna go in through that hole right there, send that thing forward, and it's gonna mate to that uh, that 10 mil nut right there. Then we can take the nut off, and that will uh, that'll finish off all the bolts that hold the regulator in. Well, we're in too deep now. No turning back. Well, that's cute, that's adjustable. Yeah. Now it's gonna drop my socket, watch this. Oh, no, I got it, look, I managed. Nice. Okay, regulator's free. It's free on that side. It's stuck to the magnet on the speaker. Oh, that's a strong magnet. The question is, is can I maneuver this out without cutting the rivets off for this little panel here? Yeah, having to drill these rivets is going to be the part where uh, I become unhappy with this job. So far, so good, but the one thing in life that I cannot stand, well, I won't say in life, but in automotive, the one thing I cannot stand is drilling rivets for window regulators. Thanks, Ford. And the survey says, so well, looks like I'm drilling some rivets. Oh, oh, wait, 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 we got it. Hang on, hang on, I might have this. Mess, yep, got it out. However, next question is, is can I sneak that other one back in? That's, uh, that's what's to be determined next. Oh, how fun is this? These are adjustable. See the stop on it? You can adjust the throw of the glass. How, how cool is that? I'm excited. 
complicated mechanisms. New one's coming in. Let's see how this is gonna work out for me. It appears to all match up. So what I need to do is figure out how to sneak this guy back in. Is this gonna work? Yes. I mean, it's gonna go in there. Just how hard is that gonna be and how many times do I have to cut myself to achieve that? All right, it's, uh, it's like halfway in. A little bit farther and then I can flip that in the direction that it goes and we should be in good shape. Please flip. Because if it doesn't, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. Uh, here, get that out of the way. No, oh, come on. Just a little bit, a little more, please. Okay, all right, all right, we got it. See, I said please and it worked. Oh man, you guys didn't see anything I just did. Camera fell down, I'm sorry. Well, I, uh, I painstakingly removed or, or installed maneuvered, that's what I was trying to say, maneuvered this regulator into the door panel. Now, I need to maneuver it some more to, uh, to make sure that you get everything lined up. Words. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot? I need to fish out all the all the broken pieces that were hanging out down there. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's that bolt that I dropped. Uh, I think that's all. Nope, nope, found another one. Piece of a cable. Okay, now that's all, okay. Get somewhere. Show what I'm gonna do. I've just got the bottom peg slid through. Here's our top one. That's the top nut. So let's go ahead and secure that real quick. It'll just keep the right side of the regulator from flopping around. Get on there. Turn or rotate. There we go. And then down below. I can secure that stud. So we're halfway there. So now, we'll take the left side, slip the bottom stud through the bottom of the door, and then we just have to work on the uh, that little bolt up at the top. Okie dokes, time to very carefully insert this nut into the door and we're gonna run it past that little flap and it has not fallen off yet good we're gonna meet up with that stud right back there get that guy threaded on don't fall out Oops, i'm gonna put that exactly where i found it which is right on the edge i'm using the witness marks from the previous uh attachment point so that should get it fairly close. I know light in there is terrible. I'm, I'm working on it, trying. All right, I think that's good. Let's, uh, let's tighten that one up some. We'll keep an eye on it, make sure it stays there. Click. All right, that one's good. So let's retrieve our tool. Again, this is hard to do. And that's it, 10 millimeter. It's gone. Uh, where are you, 10 mil? Oh uh, no, I can't find it. Lost it. Uh, I see shiny, it's it's way back there. 
way down yonder. Come here, 10. Got it. Okay, while we're at it, let's go ahead and get the ones down below. Where'd they go? There's one. And another right here. And then, whoa, flashlight. There it is. And then that one right there. Now, I do believe these ones on the bottom are adjustable. We can revisit those uh, at a later time. There we go. Okay, uh, if my order of operations was correct, I think next I need to get the glass down in position, bolt the glass on, and then we can proceed uh, with the motor and then the rest of the trim and stuff like that. Sure, well, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Now, this window is also tinted, so I've got to take kind of extra care to uh, not damage the tent. Very high risk doing window regulators on tinted windows because it's very easy to scratch the film. And that would be bad. Okay. We're in the track in the front. There, There is no rear track. It just uses... Uh-oh. Oh, we're losing it. And I kind of lost it. Hang on. What have I done? Anyway, as I, as I was saying, there's no track on the rear. It just uses the regulator track to hold the glass. Okay. So down here in the back side, we need to line up those holes there. That one's threaded on the back side of the glass. Whoa, glass is falling out. Get back in there. This is hard to do. Okay, now that bolt can take the weight and I can uh, reach forward and get the other bolt there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I need to raise this whole assembly up so I can line up this hole with the mount on that regulator and uh, that'll let me put the other bolt in. So we're just gonna pick up on this unit and it's gonna actuate the regulator's mechanism, which is no big deal. And I'm gonna pull it up until that thing lines up with this hole here. And I'm maintaining position of the glass in the track, kind of hanging onto it by hand. So what I'm thinking, the uh, success and or failure of a job like this one, it all depends on the order of operations. If I do this all in the same order that I took it apart, this should go fairly flawlessly. If I, if I change the order in which I do things, I might get myself in trouble. And if I can't get this screw lined up, I'm in trouble also. Come on, screw bolt, whatever you are, and it's not going in. All right, let's pull that back out without dropping it. I got a, got a finger in that hole right there. Um, hang on, I gotta get my noggin in the way here. I can't see what I'm doing. We are, we've become misaligned somehow, some way. Hang on. Okay, that's, it's about right, I think. Let me try this again. Whoa. I'm sitting in a chair, legs kind of stretched. I've got a an arm sticking up into this thing. Is that, it's like chipping away at my head. And uh, after all that complaining, looks like I've got that, that bolt in. That's cool. That bolt in, that's cool. Woohoo! Um, where's my little socket driver? There it is. Let's run this down some so it's not so weeby wobbly. All right, let's back up a little bit here and admire the handiwork that we've achieved uh, thus far. So it's on track, it's in position. Let's tighten these down. 
it's not actually going into the glass. There's like a clamp that clamps onto the glass and that, uh, that bolt just tightens up on the clamp. So I'm not, uh, not breaking the glass. That's all the way up. Let's tighten this one down. Fix. And so far, that's a functioning unit. Okay, next I think I can uh, put the motor back on and then start getting things plugged back in. Sound good? Sounds like a plan to me. There's some dirt in there. Let's get that out. Yeah, we don't need that. And that should just spline in. There we go. Okay, motor is in. I'm not hammering these in until they just uh, strip. I'm going in until they seat and then that is all. Yep, good to go there. Let's see, plug our wire back in. Kicks right there, that's good. That goes on this side. And I think that's uh, that's about right. Well, let's get the uh, the insulation back on and then we'll plug everything back in and make sure it works Now this is the part where I drop the ball and forget Where all the wires were supposed to pass through especially this uh, This gaggle of wires we've got going on over here And that goes that way I Totally forgot how these go And ideally I'd like to untangle them, but they just they came this way um, let's see, that one's the speaker for up here, so we know where you go. And then that goes there, which means these pass through this little hole right here. And then the others pass through the other hole, then they connect. I'm thinking that's how that's gonna go. That one goes through here. If memory serves, which it Probably does not in this particular instance, but we'll deal with that later. These ones pass through on the right. And then these ones are gonna come through this little square hole, right? Here. Is that right? It is now. Feels right. Pretty darn close, unless these all come through down here, which they can't. Okay. okay, let's get our little computer controller device plugged back in here, and then... Oh, I'm wrong. I need to reroute these wires. Yep, I'm wrong. Hang on. Let's redo this again. Hmm, maybe through here? got to be because this thing has to sit flush like so it's, it's gonna go this way yeah, yeah 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 that's better so this guy slips into these two bottom holes goes down then it clips in at the top I believe that's what I'm dealing with here that goes like that that one goes right there connected good this one comes in right here. I need to make sure these get nice and tangled up. That's how they came. Uh, that one went there. And we're missing a couple. I remember there was like a blue one and a white one. That one goes there. That one goes there. This one right there. And then these guys. I just touched something and the window moved. Hmm, odd. Well, at least we know it works. Huh. 
It was uh, doing Mercedes things. Automatic adjustments. So those hung out on the panel. Those clipped onto the panel like right there. So that's in good shape. Yeah, everybody's everybody's where they're supposed to be, approximately. Okay. All right, got the panel here. We're coming in with that. And now I remember the remaining connectors. We've got the, that ribbon, and then there's the three, four more connectors that go into that little module right there. So there's our blue one, and that was the black one. There's the white one, and it didn't occur to me till now, but they're already color-coded on the module. See the little dots right there? I uh, did not notice such things, but now I do. There's the big blue ribbon one. Oh. That one goes right there, and then I've got this little black one right here. So that's all the connectors connected. Let me get this hung into place right here. And pull the speaker up where it, that goes. Yes. This is good. Oh, oh, I forgot the cable. Hang on, there's the cable back here for a, what you call it, for the door lock or the door handle. Let's slip that guy in right there. See that? Hmm. I'm, I'm failing. There it is. We'll pull that back and slide it over. Okay, that's the cable in position, and then let's get the the lock rod. We'll pass that through the hole here. Okay, now. We can get this thing clipped in and then ultimately bolt it in. Hang it right there, that's good. Very nice. Okay, the top section here is sitting in the groove on the uh, window seal. And I believe everything is lined up. If we look at where all the pegs sit, they are right in position in their little holes. That one too, let's just clip them in. Then once everybody's seated and clipped, we'll go through with the, the actual bolts. Bolt it all back together. Nice. Cool, we're secure. Bolt holes are unobstructed here and here. This is good. We have space for uh, our little speaker. And these guys get hung right here on that little clip. Right, perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's key it on and give this thing like a test real quick and make sure that that window is gonna run like it's supposed to. Where's my keys? Took them out because it was dinging at me. All right. Okay, key on. Window moving up. Window moving down. Nice. Okay, well it works. Power that guy back off, and let's put the rest of these goodies back together. I believe there were just three screws in this, so... Let's get these guys in. One there, and then the two more down here. Going long range. Yeah, yeah. got it. Beautiful. Where's my lock handle that I took off earlier? Oh, there it is. I left it on the floor. Bad ring. Let's thread that guy back in. The worst mistake you can make is you put all this back together and realize that the lock rod is hanging out down here somewhere. Then you've got to take it all apart and uh, do it again. Good to go. Okay, we've got this little guy here that houses the speaker. That just clips in. That guy goes in here. And then we slide this thing in and secure it on its little clip here. There we go. All right. Okay, let's start getting these little panels back in. I think that one, 
came out last, so it goes in first. That clips in right there. Then the big one. Is that upside down? No. That just clips in as well. A couple snap crackles and pops. That's in position. Good. Then we need this little side panel here. That one goes. Let's see, there's the tab. That one goes there. The smelly good stuff that goes back in here. I like to try to put things back where where I found them. And then the speaker cover. Again, that just kind of clips in, I think. No, no, it slides in that way. Slides this way first and then clips in. All right. Other than these last pieces of uh, plastic, plus a little bit of a uh, fingerprint cleaning, and uh, this side is good to go. And uh, then I must repeat said procedure on the other side to fix the uh, passenger window. Um, I don't think I'm gonna record that side. This is, door panels are hard to really get good shots on. They don't record well because there's so many shadows and it's frustrating and time consuming for me. Which translates into something that is uh, boring and uninteresting to you, the viewers, and that's not what we all want here. So uh, yeah, like I said, I think I'm gonna skip the, the video making of the other side and just go ahead and close this one out. So uh, I'll do that by thanking all of you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's uh, kind of shadowy and it was tough to follow along because you guys couldn't see what I was doing. Uh, which could have made this uh, an unenjoyable video. Um, if this did turn into an unenjoyable video for you, then uh, perhaps you should scroll down to this video's description and check the link at the top of the page and it will take you to a far more interesting video. So having said all that, uh, again and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys in the next one. Ending of Mercedes door panel.